They called it impossible. Five miles of open water, 300 feet deep, whipped by ice and wind. But Michigan built it anyway. The dream started in the 1880s. For decades, people imagined a bridge linking the peninsulas. Ferries came in 1923, but by the 1930s, traffic was so heavy, the state needed something permanent. War shut it down. The dream went quiet. Then came engineer David B. Steinman. In 1954, construction began. In November 1957, the Mackinac Bridge opened. Five miles of steel and concrete uniting a state once split by water. They called it the Mighty Mac. 26,372 feet long. Towers 552 feet high. 42,000 miles of wire inside the cables. Built to flex with the wind, the center span can shift 35 feet in a storm. Not sway, not buckle, just move, exactly as designed. It cost $99.8 million and took 3,500 workers on site, plus 7,500 more in mills and shops. The last bond was paid in 1986. Today, tolls keep it running. Every Labor Day, 50,000 people walk the bridge, a Michigan tradition since 1958. In 2010, it became a National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark and it's still the longest suspension bridge in the Western Hemisphere. More than a feat of engineering. The Mackinac Bridge didn't just span the straits, it changed the map. 